Hey there everyone, welcome to another Minecraft command block tutorial right here and within this video I'm going to be showing you how to make entity detectors in Minecraft. So I have some very simple command block detectors right here and if I actually place a pig over here you'll see that this detector ends up activating. And if I place a cow over here, you can see that the other detector activates as well. So essentially these entity detectors are checking for pigs or cows uh, within the vicinity of them. I've actually set it to look in a 10 block radius of the command block that's actually executing them. But it's actually incredibly easy to do this in Minecraft using command blocks. So essentially we are executing certain things in response to finding these particular mobs or entities in the world. So I'm now going to be able to show you these commands in a text editor to show you more clearly what is going on. But very quickly right here, I'm just going to very quickly explain what each of the command blocks is actually doing. Now what ends up happening with one of these detectors that I've built right here is when the lamp is activated right here, it's essentially an infinite lamp on the detector. And what we need to do in order to get this to work is um, this is a repeating command block and this is a chain command block. So it runs uh, one command block after the other in a recurring chain. Now, the first command block right here, what we end up doing is we uh, remove uh, the lamp if present. So that is the first step. This allows it so that we can reset the detector if the entity disappears, right? And this second one right here uh, checks for uh, entity and if present add lamp. Okay, so that is what the second one's doing as well. So that is the simple step procedure. So given this two step procedure, I'm now gonna show you what the commands actually look like for these command blocks. All right, everyone, we're now inside the text editor right here. And these are the two commands that we're using in the command blocks themselves. Now, this first command right here allows us so that we can remove the redstone lamp in order to reset the detector if the entity disappears or is removed. So all we're really doing here is we're using these relative coordinates. Now, these relative coordinates are correct for me using my detector right here, but essentially all this is doing is it's checking the area where the lamp should be. And if it finds the redstone lamp, it's going to replace it with air, okay? So that is the first thing it does. And then it does a check to see if the particular entity is available. So in this case right here, the second command is where it's doing the main thing. So we're doing slash execute if entity. So we're doing an entity check. And then this is the selector we are doing. So at E type equals Minecraft colon cow. So here we are checking for a cow mob or entity. And then this is a distance parameter. So uh, dot dot 10 essentially means that we're looking in a 10 block uh, radius around uh, that particular command block that's being run. So if you do not supply a distance, it's going to look as far as it can uh, within the scope of that command block. So if it then finds the cow in that distance area, is then going to place a lit redstone lamp um, in the spot where the lamp indicator should be for the detector. And that is about it. Now, what I now need to show you is how you actually find out what IDs you need to check for particular entities you want to detect. So let me show you a really good web page that will help you with just that. Hi there everyone, this is the page in question. This is a dig Minecraft page and it is a Minecraft entity list for Java edition 1.19, okay? And as you will be able to see right here, there is a list of all of the entities in the game thus far in uh, the main release of the game. So 
If you want to target a bat, you would do Minecraft colon bat. If you want to target a cave spider, it'd be Minecraft colon cave underscore spider and so on. So this is how you find the ID that you want to select when it comes to the detector that you're actually making. So make sure to use this page. I'll leave the link in the description. All right, everyone, that's about it for this Minecraft command block tutorial video. Now, if you are interested in those commands, I will also leave the commands in the description of the video so you can check that out. But if you did find this video useful and you learned something new, then a like and subscribe on the video would be very much appreciated. And make sure you hit the notification bell so you're notified of any future videos on the channel. And be sure to follow my Twitter, which is in the description or on screen right now. And hopefully you have fun with these command blocks and you can use this entity detection in any builds that you're actually doing. Um, but thank you for watching this video. Hope you have a nice day and I'll see you next time.